Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So today in this video, we'll be explaining that how we perform speed moisture test in laboratory. So first of all, we'll be discussing about the uh, apparatus that is required to perform this apparatus. Then we will perform this test uh, on the soil sample. So here you can see the beam balance. This beam balance is required to weight the soil sample. And we'll elaborate the apparatus that how we weigh the soil sample uh, using this beam balance in, in, in a few seconds, in next few seconds. So here you see, you can see this, uh, this is called the speedy moisture tester in which we perform the speedy moisture test. And this is the scoop that is required to uh, measure the reagent that will be used in this test. So basically we use calcium carbide in this test. So this is to measure the calcium carbide uh, in this test. So this box is containing the calcium carbide uh, reagent. This one is the uh, brush that is used to clean the uh, speedy moisture tester. And these are the balls uh, uh, which uh, we place inside the speedy moisture tester and we shake. Uh, during the shaking process, these balls uh, basically uh, are used to break the lumps of the soil breaks the lumps of cohesive side. So this is the apparatus that is required to perform the test. So now we will be performing the test and you will get the idea that how this test is uh, performed in the laboratory. So in the first step, uh, as I earlier mentioned that we will use this beam balance uh, to weigh the soil sample. So we'll place this uh, cap uh, in which we'll place some soil sample. So. So how much soil sample is required for this test is determined using this technique. So we'll place the soil in this cup until this beam is in the equilibrium position. So it is uh, according to the calibration of this equipment, this, uh, this uh, 6 gram of soil is required. Uh, at 6 gram of soil, this beam will be in the equilibrium position. So. Uh, now we'll place the soil until this beam gets uh, straight or it is in the equilibrium position. So now you, uh, you can see that it is almost uh, in the equilibrium. Okay, so now we'll place this soil sample into the speedy moisture tester along with the reagent calcium carbide and then we will shake it up uh, until and uh, until the uh, dial gauge that is at the bottom of this speedy moisture tester uh, gets seized. So now in the first step we'll place the soil sample in the speedy moisture tester. Now using this scoop we'll place the uh, calcium carbide reagent so we'll take two uh, scoops of calcium carbide and you need to be careful uh, while using this calcium carbide uh, and one of the things you need to uh, you need to confirm before using this reagent that it should not be expired. If the calcium carbide reagent is expired, then your results will be affected. And now we'll place the steel balls as I earlier mentioned that these are used to break the lumps of cohesive soil. Now we'll place the calcium carbide in a very controlled manner because it will react with the moisture of the soil to produce the gas and that gas will insert the pressure on the dial gauge. Now we will be closing this speedy moisture tester so that uh, no gas should be leaked. So this is the dial gauge from which we will measure the rating. 
uh, actually what happens during the performance of the test is will shake this uh, speedy moisture tester and that speedy moisture tester is containing calcium carbide reagent along with the soil and the steel balls of 1.25 um, inch dia. So these balls uh, will uh, be used to break the lumps of the soil, will shake this uh, speedy moisture tester that calcium carbide uh, will react with the uh, moisture of the soil and a gas will be produced and now will be shaking this and then th the pressure uh, that is uh, produced in the form of the gas will uh, will basically in, will be inserted on the dial gauge and the dial gauge will move now start the process And we need to note down that reading uh, at the time where this dial gauge gets seized. And there is no further increment in the dial reading. Now here you can see that the, uh, at 10% dial reading uh, there is no change in the value. Mm -hmm. So that value will be used and the formula is, uh, uh, formula is there on the screen you can see. Here you will use the dial reading of this dial gauge to convert this value into the moisture contained in terms of the dry weight. So uh, remember this test is performed on the site but for the demonstration purpose we have performed in this laboratory. So this test is basically performed on site. Okay. Okay.